Introducing first, fighting out of the right corner. He enters the ring wearing black trunks with silver trim. He weighed in at 109.4 kgs. He hails from Cameroon, now residing in France. He is the former WBF International, WBO African Heavyweight Champion. He is ranked third in the world by the IBF, fourth by the WBO, fifth by the WBC. He has 35 professional fights with 33 wins, two losses, and one draw, with 25 big wins coming by way of KO. Introducing Carlos Tica! And his opponent fighting out of the blue corner. He has his ring white black trucks with white trim. He went in at 104.6 kgs. He hails from South Auckland, New Zealand, representing the beautiful nation of Samoa. He holds the WBO Oriental, WBA PABA, WBA Oceania, WBC Eurasia Pacific, WBO Pan African, and OBPF titles collectively. He's ranked the number one contender in the world by the WBL, fourth by the IBF, sixth by the WBC. He is trained by the world renowned boxing coach and trainer Kevin Barry. He has 18 professional fights with 18 wins and 16 big wins coming by way of KO. Introducing <laughs> Lupe Sharp, exciting fighters. Mainstream, you can't be more mainstream than Vegas. All about. Dylan had very few problems with distance in a meaningful fight with Sherman Williams, the old tank. He's not getting close without taking one there. He's been operating up. He's really got to watch these counters, Parker. Will be cheered to the rafters. Potential and how good can he be? How quickly? Much more aggressive Takama. A good stuff. The only single shot is Takama. Takama is too clever at the moment. Well, that's a no, slip as he slip. just lunged yeah. in. Yeah. Over there. It was a lot of risk and no reward. Now the takes that he can't be expected. He's looking for the right hand, but making it obvious. If I can see it coming, so so can Takam. Well, Takam missed pretty badly with a real wild swinging right hand there. And this no, let them control the pace and big those right hand counters. The confidence in, the, in his boxing. Using oh. Good stuff. Showing patience, taking his time, picking his. We're getting caught in two minds. Which, you know, he's not. Doesn't wind the punch. The, 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 you know, the, they're both working. Pa They do feel that. I worry after the uh, Parker has thrown his punches, he's a little bit vulnerable. He threw three punches there and he stood Some waiting for. Hey, in there. Time now that we're seeing a bit more aggressive. It's Takam chasing Parker now. Looking to try and land the right hand oh, off the back of it. But yeah, it's Parker that's coming off the better in these exchanges. And again, it's the speed. Lovely little disguised left hand there from Parker, lovely body pressure going backwards, that's impressive, but he gets tagged defensively Parker, for all the good stuff you like, there's work to be done here, and Takam will know he can get him, that's just a, a shove right on the belt, but try to make Parker work a bit harder, would have thought that Takam should be taking it to him, that the right hand is working a treat for Parker, but growing in confidence and belief here, We got through there though, Takam. Defensive mistakes, Parker is good offensively. What's over with Carlos Takam? He's not a good looking spell was, at the moment and he from was, Parker. He was blowing hard as well when he was holding and Takam suddenly is right on the front foot and Parker is backpedalling furiously and not offering much other than evasive tactics. This is where experience is so important. Parker has never had anyone coming at him, he's never had to pace a fight. And he's taking he's punishment. His way here. He is taking a lot of heavy punishment here. That's a slip. But he tripped over his own feet. Parker needs to get back to his corner and regroup. It's been he was looking relaxed earlier on, Parker, but now he's looking a little bit loose. 
and that's not quite the same thing. That's better. They're staying busy with that. The same intensity in this round. You know, he could be gifting this to Parker if he'd had me plenty of time to change things. No, but he's giving Parker time and space to do as he pleases. And Parker is using that time and space very effectively. Maybe that's part of his plan as over the 12 rounds. But uh, unless I just think Takam didn't do enough work in the first. But I wonder if he's gifted this round by doing nothing for the first. Neither of them. See, he's stalking at the moment. He's not. But uh, you know, a round is three minutes. But Parker, these are tired-looking punches coming back from him. That was better. Yeah, well, but not a decent minute or so. He's got the bulldozer out, hasn't he? And he's ripping through as well. The Parker corner. They said they wanted him to stay low. He's very upright here, and when it gets to inside work, Takam's looking much, much stronger. That was better. Good response. Terrific combination from Parker. Listen to the reaction. And he's going to work now. Putting a lot of effort in here. Can he get the breakthrough? Takam's hurt. I think they've both, been hurt. they've both been hurt in that exchange. Explosive stuff. Takam's feet slipped for the second time. Parker put a lot into that. Didn't get him out of there. I think he's used up a lot, Parker. Exactly. I don't, I don't think we're going to see much more from him for the rest of this round. That was he all or blowing. nothing. That was all or nothing from Parker. And he's still got a minute or so left of this round. Boy, that was risky. But he's the natural puncher. He's used to finishing people. So when he gets a chance, instinctively he's going to go for another good right hand from Parker. The pressure. Because Parker poured it on there. Attack Am stayed with him. And he's coming back at him now. But I tell you what, Parker is shooting bust from Parker. But he should be using his strength and his experience. Just getting his breath back, but Takam not punishing him. He did land a right hand that shook him. Got caught with a counter there, Parker. Danger signs again for the New Zealander. And there's another one coming in. See again, Takam. Again, bouncing him a bit high there, Takam. Zone again. Now he's got comes from the hip as well. I think Takam has gifted another round. I said that. Jab, that double jab. Yeah. Nice to root. And as he's obviously been sent out. Pointing this from Takan. Head down, off we go again. Well, it's, it's not the fireworks show that a lot of us with three minutes to go. Is he on the threshold of a He's going to have to bring it out quickly, though, Takan. Remember how strong he finished against Mike Perez, who virtually staggered back to his corner at the final bell, but Parker's staying with him, not being intimidated or bullied. And he's handled him, he's tamed him. And unless... Well, more... Takam's doing okay at the moment. But he's never been able to subdue him. He's always come back with something, Parker. But can Takam yet find something? Still, Parker stays with him. The clock continues to tick, just over a minute left. Well, I think I spoke about questions that hadn't been answered. I think Parker has answered them tonight. This has been a tough, tough battle for him. And even if he is losing this last round, I think he should be going. Ah, oh, just a slip as well with some terrific insight and input from Kevin Barry in his corner as well.
I think he's handled this whole fight. He's managed it so well for me, Jim. Because there's been times when Takam has hurt him. He's regrouped and recovered well. He's never been in danger of falling apart. Takam continues to pile it on. Still gets a good shot away there, Parker. And this is what we've seen. Whenever Takam has threatened to get on top, Parker's come back at him. There's a lot to like about this young Kiwi. There really is. Well, he's showing terrific heart at the moment, Parker. Putting on a show inside the last 20 seconds here against Carlos Takam. And they are loving it. Solid right hand there from Parker, who just needs to hear the final bell. And then it goes down to the cards. But surely, Joseph Parker has done more than enough. He's put an awful lot into it. Absolutely physically shattered, but Jim, I thought he was starting to struggle physically as early as the fifth round. He regrouped and he handled himself so well. Takam let him in a way, as you say, yeah, we both said. But I started worrying, Nick, about him out the fifth round because yeah. it, he'd never been this before. He'd never been in this kind of fight before, but the character that he showed was terrific. The the, another tough round to score, the last one, but even if you give it to Takam, then I still have Parker two points up to go through. The judges may have it wider because he always looked, it he, 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 he was smart boxing for him, he was always looking that little bit busier than Takam, even in the rounds where Takam was working, was, had a better quality. But that, that was a terrific 12 rounder and a real character builder and that answered the questions, as I say, that we were asking of Joseph Parker. There are flaws in his game, no doubt about that, and by the, for, the, for whatever it's worth, I've got one 16, one 12 on my card. But Takam just never able to impose himself on this fight. He applied pressure, but it wasn't intelligent pressure. He was chasing a lot, he was wasting effort. Well, Parker handled himself so well there. Now, defensively, yeah, there's a lot to work on. And I'm sure Dylan White in the studio will have looked at this and said, yeah, I think there's some things I can uh, expose here. Just had a look at your card there, Jim. But the bottom line is, this was the night where we wondered about Joseph Parker, that Carlos Takam would be the, the man who would expose any shortcomings, any hype, any frailties. Not for me, he didn't expose anything tonight. No, and I like to have an overall feeling at the end of a tough battle like that, and I don't really feel that Takam has done enough to win this fight to, tonight. I really don't feel he has done enough. The Parker Cam are looking confident, I feel they have every right to look confident. And I think Takam, however, whichever way this goes, he'll go home feeling he could have done a little bit more than he did. A lot more. Terrific last round, and again... that's required at the top level. Jim, we saw something else there, just looking at those highlights. He'd never Alice really been hit before. Here we go to the uh, to the decision, but he showed he can take a punch tonight as well, Parker, because he got tagged often. Shaken a couple of times, but he always managed to just brush it off and move on. Now, has he got the biggest win of his Alice career under his belt? We go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. Mike Fitzgerald scores the contest 116-112. Benoit Rossell, 116-112. Ian Scott, 115-113. For your winner by unanimous decision. And now, the mandatory number one challenger in the IBF heavyweight division. Luke Very, very happy arena. And nobody's going to argue with those scores.